Hey friends, Justin here. Just with a chatty video, I wanted to pop on really quickly and just say hi, see how you are, see how the weather is where you guys are. Where are you watching this from? And um, what is the high temperature that you have experienced so far this year? Here in North Central Texas, I gotta tell you guys, we are off to the races. We had like 93 degrees yesterday. Long story short, we've had multiple days this week of 90 degree weather. So summer season is in full effect. I've been under the AC for the last couple of days just because I'm transitioning. You know, I'm, I'm, my body is getting used to the, the heat, but I'm happy. You know, I'm a summer baby and I'm ready for it. It's made me crave, and I don't know if you guys crave certain kinds of foods when it gets hot, but I have been craving barbecue. I've been on a bender for the last week or so. The first time I got it last week, I got some today for lunch, uh, and I'll tell you about that, but I got some last week, uh, a half a pound of these St. Louis ribs from, from this place, Spring Creek Barbecue. It's about a mile from my house. And they were chef's kiss. And so I've been thinking about them ever since. And I sat down and ate them and I just devoured them in, in one, maybe two settings. So today I said, I want some ribs again. And I went for the whole shebang. I got a full pound of ribs. And as I was driving home, I said to myself, you got too much. You know, your eyes are bigger than your, your stomach. And sure enough, I had two of them and put the rest away, but it's, you know, it's okay. I bought it for lunch, and I'll have dinner tonight. I'll have uh, lunch tomorrow. I'll just be in Rib City for the next day or so. But speaking of other benders I've been on, have any of you guys tried those Little Caesars Crazy Puffs? I'm going to turn into a Crazy Puff. If you haven't tried one and you have a Little Caesars close, they're three or four dollars. They're the cheapest thing, you know, basically on the menu. And they are so, so good. So juicy. And so you'll see when you when you try it. Um, try it and report back if, if you know, you're interested. But I have just been, I'm going to turn into one of these crazy puffs. I've eaten so many of them. Anyway, what are you guys doing this summer? I'm trying right now. I'm writing down costs and things. I want to go to the Tampa Bay area. Check it out as a potential place to possibly move. I've got um, found a ticket for about 150 bucks, which is great. I've got transportation. I don't know if I'm going to just Uber around or rent a car. But I've got that at 150 bucks. Those people that rent cars, is that a reasonable budget? The hotels out there in Tampa are really expensive, especially when the weather gets nice. So I've got that budgeted at around 550. Ay, ay, ay. And then food at $160. So all in kids, we're talking about a thousand dollars. So it's 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 not in the cards for me today or tomorrow, but I'm putting figures together and, you know, I'll, I'll try to figure it out at some point over the summer. But I do want to get out to that region and check out the vibe, check out the culture. And I haven't been to Florida in years. I grew up going um, just about every year. We would go see the Detroit Tigers training camp and go to Disney and, you know, um, Cocoa Beach and Lakeland, and I just have a, a rich history with uh, Central Florida, so can't wait to go back and, and check it out. But yeah, how are you guys? What, where are you traveling to this, this summer? And if you don't already have plans, you know, like myself, what are, where, where would you go? If there was no budget, you know, no constraints, you did not have to go to work tomorrow, where would you go? What's your dream destination?
That's a, that's an interesting question for me. Right now, I think in the middle of summer, like late July, early August, I'd love to go to Ireland and Scotland and, and Wales and, and just walk the countryside, have some time to myself, breathe some clean air, you know, and get some of that, that rich history. But where would you guys go if budget and, you know, there, there weren't any constraints? I think that's a fun question. But yeah, I'm coming to you guys from my new cozy kitchen. I have officially started what I'm calling a year of transition. You know, the, one of the reasons I want to go to Tampa is I'm looking at it as a potential city to move to. And so I've recently moved into a place to try to reduce my expenses um, and not be so reliant on corporate. You know, that's really my end goal is to leave corporate America in about a year. And so I'll uh, keep you guys posted along this journey as I transition. But I do want to ask um, for those who have ever taken a sabbatical from work or from corporate, what was that transition period like for you? What were some of the hobbies and things that you did to fill your time? I'm under no illusion that I can, you know, retire or not work, but I just want to take a step back and take a little bit more time to be selfish and be a little bit more me focused. I think I've devoted so much time to corporate America that I don't even know what my hobbies are, if that makes sense, you know, outside of film and TV, but that's what I do after work to, to, kind of decompress and relax. Every, all of my hobbies, long story short, are in some kind of relation to work. And so I wanna to try to figure out a way to get back to me. And so I have started and I'm taking meaningful steps this year to try to transition out of such fast paced and hardcore work. And um, if anybody's ever taken like extended maternity leave or you know uh, walked away from the workforce, I'd love to hear about your experience. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on, say hi, you know, chat with you guys for a few minutes from the kitchen and see how you guys have been. I'm doing well. The, you know, the warmer it gets outside, the better my spirit is. So um, when you go outside and you see it's a beautiful, beautiful day, think about me. I'm, I'm frolicking or I'm, you know, my spirits are high. So I hope you enjoyed this chatty conversation. Until our next conversation, leave this video a like, if you will, a comment, and please consider subscribing if you haven't already to Movies with Justin. Until our next chat, take care. Bye-bye.